Welcome back everybody to episode 5 of Metroid Prime. We uh, uh ba -da -ba -da. What do we just do? Uh, I can't go. Yes, I can. So we just got the space jump boots and the art of one of the artifacts the chose artifacts. And, wow, that sucked. So, we just got the space drum boots and one of the Chozo artifacts in the last episode. We are heading back to Vendrana Drifts now to go for the wave beam. So now, <laughs> so now that we have the space jump boots, we can double jump. Which means that platforming is in the earlier areas is now a lot easier. And rather than going through this door over there, we can go all the way up to that door and then jump it across. We can skip that area entirely. And it's generally what I do when I have, when I'm just going for speed and I have the space jump boots from the start. Ow. You know what, little guy? I know you're not the one that killed me, but whatever. So I jump over to this, and then I would jump to the platform behind me if I didn't already have the speed booster. Do I have super missiles? I don't th think I do. And even if I did, I, I don't have spider ball. Hey you there. So when you break that thing off their back, they become like vulnerable everywhere, I believe. Ow, that was close. I almost fell. Okay. So we go over here. We can scan these things. Statue depicting Chosen Philosopher. Uh, Chosen Architect. Chosen Warrior. And those three are flawless. And this is a Chosen Ship. Shaman, which is showing fractures. Appears to be a shell of the ice. Appears to be a shell of ice encasing a, wa oh! a water base in the water originated from the statue's mouth. Statue depicting the bust of a chosen shaman adorns the store. A symbol is carved into its forehead. The translation reads To pass my gaze, seek my twin within this room. What that means is basically you go boom. You shoot it with a missile, cause it to fall off, and you burst ball ball it. <laughs> Why am I so tired? I don't even feel tired. All right. Wave beam. Let's go get it. Uh oh.
Oh my, big guy. All right. So I'll scan him so you know the trick. Shegoth, supreme predator of the Fendrana Drift. Shegoths are invulnerable to most beam weapons. The crystals on their back absorb energy which they can fire at prey. Shegoths have poor stamina. They hyperventilate after using their breath attack, making their mouth area vulnerable. The soft underbelly of a Shegoth is susceptible to concussive blasts. In battle, they expel blasts of frigid gas to ensnare their targets. They are also fond of ramming and trampling their hapless prey. So all you do is you wait around. Hello! He's dead. You literally just stand there, wait for him to use his charge shot with it, like his mouth beam, jump over it, and then just shoot him in the face with all your missiles. So now I have the wave beam. I always forget. Uh, this way. Ow. So now I need to go back up top, correct? Is it through this door? Another thing in the roof? I want to see what that is first. So if you charge up the wave beam, you can actually destroy these orbs. Okay. That one's dead. And so is he. Missiles. Okay. What is going on? Oh, okay. There's nothing I can do right now this way. <sighs> well, yeah. Might as well just go this way. Open the door. Okay. Alright, let's read this one. None know if our temple, the cradle, will prove powerful enough to contain this evil forever. How can we chose a hope for it to remain intact when that which it guards writhes in the darkness, growing always stronger? The fate of this world rests with the gathering of artifacts we call the cipher, but even it is not all powerful. 
It is strong, yes, an enchanted hole made of twelve links. Still, it is finite in its reach, and we who guard it are slowly succumbing. When our vigilance crumbles away in a madness, the cipher will be exposed and the fate of Talon 4 will be beyond our influence. Missiles, yay! Bloom, boom, boom, boom. All right. Simple enough. Alright. Uh, right, this room. So we need there's two of these little guys here. There's one here which opens the little spouts. Then you can hear the puzzle music come in to play. And you see a little hole there, we're gonna go in that. Which means we have to do this puzzle twice. And so we open the other two water funnels. And we get a little morph ball bomb slot. We bomb ourselves up. And out comes the water. The water raises the floating. <laughs> The floating platform's up. Down we go. We'll grab that energy tank. Thank you very much. And now we have to bring the water again. Which kind of sucks that we have to watch the cutscene again, but oh well. First off, we go this way. And we take the save station. I'm gonna grab a little drink real quick. So, we cannot go straight through because that requires a super missile. And so we have to go this way. I like using the wave beam on the space pirates because not only is wave beam strong, but it also stuns them when you hit them with the charged beam. Destroying that missile or turret will 
help a lot better. I guess it wasn't missile, but you know what I mean. Getting rid of that uh, turret. Of this store to get the map. I'm 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 the map. I'd say cringe, but saying that word is generally more cringe than being cringe. And I realize I've just said cringe now for like four times. Alright, I'm gonna skip walking around in a circle to save a little bit of time. Boop. Boop. And here we go. Let me in. Where are the rest of them? My foot is extremely asleep right now. Alright, I'm gonna clear out this area first and then we will come back and read this stuff. Get them stunned. And goodbye. I don't have super missile yet. Okay, so we came in here, so let's start the reading. And this is one of the other places that I forgot to mention does have a little bit more reading, but not, not a crazy amount, I suppose. Um, stasis tank, operational but empty. Specimen 102, increased volatility recorded. Predator awareness indicated, even in cold stasis. Increased acidity levels recorded in phasal amniotic bath. This is likely a side effect of phasal ingestion by test subjects. Phasal fluid bath levels at 70%. Checking diagnostics per procedure 12.003.8. No. This one. Upper stasis tanks online. Phasal drip lines secure. Specimen 002, euthanized 12.091.4 after psychotic episode scheduled for removal. Stasis tank operational, but currently empty. Platform active. Specimen 43, decreased vital signs, cold damping, appears stable. Stasis operational, but empty. Specimen 29, life signs normal, pulse at 140% mass increase of 4%. New pirate data. Space pirate encrypted data decoded. Log 10.344.8. We have codified the newfound energy source as Phazon, a V-index mutagen of which we have very little reliable data. 
Indications point to a meteor of unknown origin impacting approximately 20 years ago, expelling Phazon into the environment. This material appears to possess lifelike characteristics of mutating organic life forms strong enough to withstand its poison. These, mutate, these mutations appear promising, with abrupt evolutionary leaps appearing in single generation reproduction. Plans to establish a full science team on Talon 4 are being finalized. Another new pirate data. Log 10.587.7 Mining operations have begun near the crater where Phazon appears to be most concentrated. Daily Phazon yields have increased 44% and our mining systems be system becomes more streamlined as personnel and equipment flows increase. Several incidents of Phazon induced madness have been reported promote, prompting augmented life support regulations in the deeper chambers. Symptoms include loss of equilibrium, erratic respiration, muscle spasms, and in the most extreme cases, hallucinations. A timeline re reassessment for the refinery operation is recommended, as the material proves more unstable than initial analysis indicated. Xenome S.A. is undergoing relocation to Lab Hydra. Subjects transfer ordered after a pronounced increase in aberrant behavior. Security clearance ADR-13. Phase on infusion within central energy core of Xenome S-A is at 70% saturation. Increased dosage appears viable. New pirate data. Log 10-10.712.1 Most terraforming and retrofitting of security checkpoints on Talon 4 is complete, but we continue to research the alarming epidemic of breaches by local creatures. Door rec records show no unauthorized entries, so we must presume the creatures are either slipping in undetected during daily personnel moves or else finding their way in through subterranean tunnels. We have found many small breaches of this ladder sort and plug them whenever we can wherever we can but it is unlikely that we will ever achieve full extermination within our current timetable Mutation strain 776-V shows massive absorption and capacity and flux strain replication is now underway. Bazon batch 1734.D shows mandible mutation across all subjects. Cross infusion with batch 1622.G recommended. Xenome behavioral patterns show decreased reflex activity at temperatures below freezing. Prep work on all empty stasis tanks must be completed before specimen batch Y arrives on 12.312.2. Transfer of specimen 344 to lab hydra complete. Further infusion suspended pending security assessments. Tissue samples from stasis tanks must be hand carried to Lab Hydra for analysis. Notify security of all material moves. New pirate data. Log 10.664.2. Research outpost Glacier 1 in the Fendrana Drifts the region of Talon 4's mountains is operating at 85% capacity. Sub zero temperatures have made the Metroids sluggish and easy to control. Even those well into phase on infusion cycles, cold containment. Stasis tanks are sufficient for the juveniles, but some of the larger metroids have been moved to quarantine caves for safety purposes. Security doors remain an issue as malfunctions due to ice occur every day. Large predators in the wastes are also a concern, as they continue to kill personnel and breach secure areas. Unfortunately, it has become clear that our containment teams cannot neutralize all of them without a vast increase in mutate munitions and soldiers. Viral pathogens found in several xenomes have been traced to phase on batch 1664.z. Terminate all subjects. 
Daily decontamination is now required for all personnel working in Lab Aether. So many pirate datas. Log 10.515.8. Our initial tests exposing Talon 4's indigenous parasites to Phazon appear to be successful. Increases in strength, size, and aggressiveness are common in all test subjects, as well as unforeseen evolutions like addition to poison sacs within the abdomen and those appearances and the appearance of a second ring of mandibles in several subjects. These creatures were chosen because of their resilience, and it appears possible that, given enough exposure to face on, they may one day be able to survive on any planet we transport them to. Our methods will have to be refined. We currently have a 100% extinction rate after the fourth infusion period, and most survivors of the third infusion stage are so violent and uncontrollable that they have to be euthanized. Even still, we remain... Hopeful that further experimentation will result in success. Chordite cause casing of column appears weak. <coughs> Specimen 70. Optimal absorption mutation has led to unexpected degeneration of internal organs. Warning. Do not handle sedated xenomes without proper ice contamination. Contaminant and equipment. Okay, and that's like the la the last place. That's the second of three places with lots of reading. I thought it was broken. Okay. This may be a slightly longer episode. I don't know how. I'm not entirely sure how long this part takes. I don't think it's too long. But there is a save station at the top of this room, so we'll get to the save station and we'll end off the episode. reading not too much though holographic spatial schematic is in lockdown per security directive 2.23.1445 or 445 a pirate data of course log 10.401.7 phase on mining is underway several garrisons have been established and terraforming of the chosen ruins is underway security systems are operational and science team continues to make progress in their biotech research. The Fajana Drifts have proven to be an optimal location for research headquarters, and soon it will be joined by a fully operational combat base and starport. If command's predictions are half true, we shall rise to dominance in this sector within a decacycle. Truly, these are glorious times. Holographic map coordinate data has been updated successfully. Holographic sequence initiated. Yep, boom, 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 boom. Alright, we'll activate both of those power bomb slots. Come on, work with me, camera. Absolutely ridiculous.
There's the save room. I want to do something though first. Because now we have super missile. So if we charge our normal beam and then press Y, we get a super missile which uses five normal missiles. So if we drop back down here. But that's not fair, cause like things don't respawn if you go two rooms away. Yes, I know there's a safe station there. Grab the missile expansion, please. Grab back the wave beam. Let's get out of there. Thank you, game. I appreciate them giving me that missile uh, refill. Now I can save. Thank you guys so much for watching episode 5 of my Metroid Prime series. I hope you're still enjoying the game. I am. In the next episode, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be getting the X-ray visor. Um, no, sorry, thermal visor, and then I think we'll be going, and then we'll go get the ice beam, and then we head to phase on mines, and then we're nearly done the game. So, a few more episodes, I would imagine, and then we'll be done. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.